and welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott. These are the inverts and today we're looking at the hisser colony or how to start one because I want a massive one. I want an absolutely huge one. Hisser colony people, hisser colony. So I can't afford to go and buy a massive colony straight away so I want to build one up. So how do we build a colony up we're gonna to have to start off with a few females a few males and some babies and work it way up so how do we create the setup ready for these guys so come down and i'll show you what we do so we are starting off with a large cricket keeper absolutely perfect for what we want we have also got the substrate just here i like to call this layla's breakfast so what this is is that's actually a rat food um, in there chocolate you don't have to put that in but what these are are rabbit pellets and oats scots oats as it goes probably about 25 percent pellets to 25 percent oats and what we want to do is chuck that in there and just cover the floor so that there is just absolutely perfect just enough just move over a little bit look at that now the whole idea of this is to build up a big enough colony to move into one of the big crates that you see people having to really get a huge, huge colony going. So what else we need in here is actually egg crates. Now you don't have to go out specifically to buy the egg crates. You can just get egg cartons and chop them up. And what we're gonna do is Try and create somewhere for them to climb up and down the egg crates but also some nice dark areas and those dark areas will be where the males and the females go off to start breeding so we're going to pile it up here get quite a few in there not too close to the top now remember guys these hissing cockroaches can climb glass they can climb plastic they can climb anything and everything so just want to cut up another piece and put that like that just like this and then i'm going to put that piece just there so they've got the food in the bottom um the actual waste that they produce is actually food for the babies um so we're not going to be cleaning this out once a month we're actually going to clean it out once every three months now the other thing that we want in there is, in fact I'm going to put that there, move some of that across, is some sort of fruit or, or, or lettuce. So I've got lettuce, the lettuce is um, going to provide the water, the moisture for these guys as well. So let's get that in there. So let's put a bit of lettuce down in there. Just change this out every couple of days. You can use oranges as well, apples. Uh, anything like that anything with a high moisture content absolutely perfect for these guys remember guys this is a starter colony so we're putting a starter colony in there to hopefully grow massive and then we'll be moving it into a bigger box so hopefully you guys at home will be able to do the same as i'm doing and follow the same kind of journey that i'm doing so another key thing is with the cricket keeper lid we'll be going on there like so um with the holes the babies could possibly climb out so what we're going to do is put some vaseline if we can open it all around the edge of this enclosure what this does is it prevents them from holding on so i'm going to do roughly half inch all the way around there we go there's all the vaseline around so what this vaseline will do is prevent the hissing cockroaches climbing any further than that point. Well, we, we, we hope that will be the case. So we have the food in there. We have the hiding spots. Uh, the, the egg crates are in. We just need to do one more thing with these guys. There we go, a little bit of water. Just spray that around the edge just to keep that humidity up. Don't put too much water in there, just enough to wet the sides is completely fine because they do like it with a high humidity. So just enough to wet the sides. What we're going to do is spray that daily. So now it's time to get the hissers 
in their new home. We're going to put the hisses in now. This here, this is a male, um, a sub-adult male. But you see the two lumps there and there? That's why you know that one's a male. I'll show you a female in just a second. Put in there. They do absolutely latch on to everything. It can take a while to actually get off your finger. Just put that baby in there. They are awesome, awesome little creatures. This one. See how it's got a smooth head? That's a female. A big female like that. And look. They really don't want to let go. You have to really sort of kind of pull them off and drop them in there. So I'm going to put the other couple of females in there, the other male, and then I'll show you the end result. That is one trying to escape. We're going to see if it will do it, if it will actually get past the vast. No, it can't. Brilliant. So this is the final setup. We've got our lettuce down there. We've got the Layla's substrate down there, which is the rabbit pellets and the bran flakes, or the Scottish oats rather. Um, there's six um, adults in there. We have four females, two males, but then we also have a ton of babies that have gone in there as well. But that is absolutely perfect for what we want to do. Um, when this colony gets bigger, what we're going to do is move it into a larger container and hopefully get absolutely hundreds and hundreds of these guys going because we've got a new animal as a lot of you know we've picked up a pair of Akimono lizards they are going to eat a lot a lot of these when they get much bigger than what they are at the moment because they're only babies now you're probably considering heating as well so yes these will be well these will be going on top of the state tank but if you want to you can put a heat mat under this side which is the opposite side to where we have put the fresh fruit or the fresh vegetables, lettuce, whatever you're using, just so that doesn't dry out as quick as what it would is if the heat mat was under there. And it's as simple as that. Don't over complicate it. It is so easy. Just get yourself a large cricket keeper. It could be um, it could be a shoebox. Let me just show you. It could even be here's an old old shoe box we could use one of these with some holes in the side if you're going to put holes in the side do put some sort of mesh over those holes as well be advisable to put the mesh on the inside with a um, glue gun maybe around the hole so these can't get out but that vaseline is really really important to stop those hisses coming up and out and what i have found as well when you take the lid off it stops them coming up and out of the enclosure at the same time but this colony that we've got just here is not going to be a feeding colony just yet. We are going to we are going to try and expand it, try and get it as many as we can in there, and then we can start feeding the ackies with these. Um, but we are going to need a lot. But I am pretty sure with that little little setup. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you'd make anything different, any other changes down in the comments, let me know. And as always, guys, we shall. See you again on the next one.